In a prior video, we have seen elementary definitions that are important in thermodynamics. And then uh, when we have defined energy, we have said that there's only two ways for energy to transfer in and out of systems. One of them is as work, and another one is as heat. Uh, work requires motion against an opposing force, and heat, energy transfer as heat, is any other type of energy transfer that is not work. In this video, then, we uh, start to uh, uh, work with uh, the definition, an operation definition of how energy transfer as work is. Right, and the model that we're going to be using to start talking about work is going to be a gas expansion against a constant external pressure. Okay, so this is what uh, the, the model looks like. We're going to have a gas inside a cylinder that is fitted with a movable piston. Right, so that is the piston, and that piston can go uh, up and down uh, without any friction with the uh, walls of that container. And inside this cylinder, we have a gas that we can manipulate. We can perhaps um, elevate the temperature of the gas, or maybe we can cool it down, or maybe we can uh, do some sort of chemical reaction that generates more gas and things like that. And uh, what that might end up, uh, end up doing is just uh, moving uh, the pressure of that gas, and that means that perhaps the gas can push up the piston, or maybe uh, the piston pushes down on the gas, right? So. We're trying to uh, then calculate uh, the work that happens when that piston is moved. Okay? Right, now, uh, to do this, uh, we have to recognize that generally we're going to have something that is called here an external pressure. Okay? And uh, generally, if, if uh, that external pressure can be due to various things. For one, you could actually have that, well, maybe this piston has uh, some, some mass that is, that is sizable. Right, so then the effect of gravity uh, uh, pushing on, the, on the, uh, the mass of the, of the piston is generates an external pressure that is quite sizable. Or maybe, if, even if the, uh, if the piston is massless or the mass is very small, right, you have to remember that if you have this open to the atmosphere, right, uh, atmospheric pressure can be very large. Okay, we know that atmospheric pressure, what we call one atmospheres, is 15 pounds per square inch. Right, so, so there's a lot of gas molecules that are actually colliding with the piston and trying to push the gas in. Right, so it's pretty obvious that uh, if that gas tries to expand and push the piston out, it's going to be able to, it's going to have to fight uh, uh, some opposing force that is coming from either the, uh, the uh, piston uh, and gravity just pushing it down, or from the collisions of those uh, external uh, gas species on the piston, or maybe a sum of both. Okay. So in this, in this video, we're going to see how to derive an equation that allows you to calculate the work done by a, an expanding gas in this type of problem. Okay, so this is your initial uh, state, and then your final state will be what happens when uh, you have pushed a little bit of that uh, piston out and you have been fighting this external pressure, right? So that external pressure is still there, all right, but that is your gas now. All right, before we start with the derivation of this equation, we have to talk about the signs of work. All right, so uh, uh, work can be either positive or negative, but then we have to define very clearly uh, our convention for what is negative and what is positive. Uh, in, in chemistry, in the molecular sciences, we're always worrying about the system, and in this case, the system is a gas. Right, so we're going to be looking at what happens to the energy of that system, of that gas, as the system is perhaps doing work or receiving work, uh, energy as work from the surroundings, right? So uh, notice that uh, if the gas pushes out that piston, then it needs to uh, invest some of its energy in pushing out the piston and transferring that energy as work, right? So notice that when the gas does work on the surroundings, then energy is leaving the system, and that would be a negative work according to our sign convention. Okay? On the contrary, if you think that the process is going from here to there, right? so in this case what will happen is that the surroundings would actually be transferring energy as work to the system, and therefore the system gains energy as, as, as a result of that energy transfer. In that particular case, then because the system gains energy from that energy transfer, that work would be positive. So in summary, Again, when uh, the system does work on the surroundings, that will be negative work because energy is leaving the system. And when the surroundings do uh, work on the system, then you will have a positive work 
because the system is gaining energy as work in this case. All right, so with that same convention, then we can now move on and try to calculate uh, what the work done in this type of gas expansion against the constant external pressure would look like. All right, so we start with the definition of work, which is simply force times distance. And then we'll try to figure out uh, what each of these terms is. Right, so the distance uh, in this particular case is fairly simple. Notice that um, uh, that is the change in distance. Uh, you're opposing a force, which is just caused by those uh, collisions of the uh, external pressure of the, of the gas molecules of the atmosphere. And then you've been able to uh, uh, fight that force over a distance, which is simply the difference in height between the piston at the start of the experiment and the piston at the end of the experiment. Right, so th th this distance is pretty easy to define. Is simply uh, the change in height of that piston. Okay, and now we have to think about what the force is. What is the opposing force? Uh, uh, what is the force that you're you're fighting uh, when you do this type of gas expansion? Well, uh, so notice that in this particular case, if we assume that uh, this is a, a massless piston, and then uh, the opposing force is solely due to the collisions of the external gas of the atmosphere pushing down that piston, then what we can say is that, well, uh, the th external pressure, P external, is going to be equal to the force uh, exerted uh, in that piston over the area of that piston, right? So this is an elementary uh, a physical relationship between uh, force and pressure. Okay, so then we can solve for the force, which is simply going to be the external pressure over the area over which it's operating. All right, so we take that definition and then plug it back into the uh, work equation to find that work is going to be equal to the external pressure multiplied by the area over which the, this external pressure is acting and then multiplied uh, by the change in height of the piston. Okay, great. All right, so let's see if we can consolidate this a little bit. Uh, here we have your uh, delta H and the area is just the area of that piston. It's actually very easy to uh, see that this uh, is an area times the distance, an area times height, that actually happens to be the change in the volume of uh, this gas as the uh, system has pushed out that piston. Okay, so that is actually something that uh, is going to be very useful for us. We can simply say that work is equal to the external pressure multiplied by the change in volume experienced by the system, by that gas, as it's expanding against that constant external pressure. Okay. So then let's see if, uh, uh, if this equation makes sense. All right, uh, let's uh, uh, think about this particular problem and see what the sign of work would be. Okay, uh, notice that the volume is increasing, so when you do this calculation, there will be uh, this delta V is going to be final volume minus the initial volume. Notice that because the volume is increasing, this difference is going to be positive. Because the external pressure is also positive, that will give you a positive sign for work. However, we just defined that the same convention uh, in the molecular sciences is such where uh, if the system is doing work on the surroundings, as it's the case here, the work would be negative. Okay, however, this equation gives you the work as positive. Well, there's an easy way to reconcile that, and that is to simply uh, turn that expression uh, uh, into the negative of what we just derived. In this case, you have that the expression is correct, and then uh, the sign that you get out of this is also correct. Okay, so this is the work done uh, in a gas expansion against a constant external pressure. Okay. What we're going to do next then is try to solve a numerical problem to illustrate uh, what, uh, how to calculate this work. All right, so the numerical problem is going to be as follows. Suppose that this external pressure is equal to 1.000 atms. Right, so this is, that is your regular atmospheric pressure. And now uh, the change in volume that we have is going to be from 10 liters of the gas to 20 liters of the gas, right? So that is a doubling of, um, uh, of the gas volume. So let's calculate then the work done in this particular uh, ex example. Well, work is going to be equal to the minus external pressure multiplied by the change in volume. Then work is going to be equal to minus 1.000 atm multiplied by the change in volume, which is going to be 20 liters, the final volume minus the initial volume, 10 liters. And when you calculate that, you will get here a number that is equal to 10 atmosphere liter. All right. 
It's a negative work, which is something that we expected, but something that is uh, interesting there is that the units of work are uh, a little un unusual, right? There is an atmosphere leader, but generally what happens is that uh, work or energy are measuring joules. Okay, so while atmosphere leader is a unit of energy, uh, that is a unit of energy that is not very common. So we're actually going to be always transforming that into joules, and there's a, a relationship between atmosphere leader and joules, which is one atmosphere liter is equal to one of 1 1.3 uh, joules. All right, so uh, what that means is that our work, once we transform that uh, into joules, is going to look like that, one of 1 1.3 joules for each uh, atmosphere liter that cancels with this, and that means that we'll have 1013 joules or minus 1.0. 0.013 kilojoules. All right, so the work done by that gas pushing out that piston in this particular example is going to be about uh, one uh, kilojoule or so, and it has a negative sign because it's the uh, system doing work on the surroundings. Right, so in this video we have uh, introduced uh, a way to determine the work in a very simple example. It's simply a gas expansion against a constant external pressure. Okay, we have derived the, the equation, we have talked about the same convention, and then we have solved numerically a problem to illustrate how to calculate work uh, in a gas expansion against a constant external pressure.